Chinese Premier Li Chang visited New Zealand dairy giant Fonterra on June 15, a stop trade minister Todd McClay called very positive after the Chinese leader had spoken of demand for New Zealand's agricultural products. Fonterra is an important part of the Chinese food supply chain. A lot of our dairy products go to China, Mr. McClay said in comments broadcast on Radio New Zealand after Mr. Lee visited Fonterra's Auckland headquarters with Prime Minister Christopher Luxon. Mr. Lee said on June 14, the second day of his trip to the Pacific Island nation, that there was growing demand in China for high-quality dairy, beef and lamb products from New Zealand. China's second-highest ranked official is to travel to Australia on June 15 for a four-day stopover on a trip aimed at strengthening trade and diplomatic ties with the two commodities exporting nations. China is the biggest trading partner of both countries. Beijing sees itself as a key part of Mr. Luxon's plan to double New Zealand's exports over the next 10 years. I think it was clear there was a real appreciation on the part of the Premier of China and their delegation just about how much that relationship has grown. On June 14, Mr. Lee visited Auckland's New Zealand Institute for Plant and Food Research, a government agency that promotes the farming, food and beverage industries, before meetings and a dinner with business people, academics and diplomats. Mr. Lee met with Mr. Laksan in the capital Wellington on June 13, signing agreements on trade and climate change, with human rights also on the agenda. In the first visit by a Chinese premier to Australia since 2017, Mr. Lee is to visit the South Australia state capital Adelaide, the national capital Canberra and the mining state of Western Australia.